we also have a 3D printed tilt. No way. Let's go! So we have the tilt, but now we also have a 3D printed tilt. You can see they're almost exactly the same. Dimensionally got as close as I could. It is slightly smaller. It's about 6% smaller just because my 3D printer couldn't print it any, any larger, but it should be almost exact dimensions of a 3D printed tilt. So we're gonna throw it and see if it actually flies or what it does. All right, let's go disc golf. All right, so we're about to try and throw the 3D printed tilt for the first time. We're gonna rip it on an Anheuser, see what it does, who knows? Completely 3D printed, really stiff. I think this one came out to 166, 167 grams, but we're gonna rip it and see how it flies. It's like the exact same. Does it really? Yes. <laughs> Flies just like the real deal. All right, so we're about to test out a side-by-side -side comparison for the 3D printed tilt and the actual tilt. See how it So I think the real, the real difference is just that mine goes a little farther and gets to the ground faster. Oh no. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I said. It's like the exact same. All right, so after testing out both the actual tilt and the 3d printed tilt side by side it's very surprised at how well or i guess how similar this thing flew to the actual thing it is a little bit lighter so it seemed to go a little farther easier and then just kind of not really jump as fast but it was really close like it was an awesome comparison for a fully 3d printed disc worked out great and still perfectly intact all right